CXE is the uh, uh, is our electric drive powertrain. So 9.3 liter engine, the 9.3B that you just heard about, connected directly to a generator. Generator generates the electricity, goes up into the inverter. The inverter is basically a set of capacitors and you know computers that, that does all the management of that electricity. So it, it manages, it condenses, uh, it, it, uh, it conditions the electricity, and then sends it down into an, a motor in the transmission that does all of your forward and reverse propulsion. Okay. Your steering is done with the hydraulic differential steering system. So similar to what we have on a traditional dozer D6s. But what that does is that lets us, lets us have a, a dedicated pump and motor to do that steering. So increase speed of one side and decrease the speed of the other side to do that steering. And, and it gives us a lot of power in a turn. So if you've got a you know, contractor that's carrying some material around a corner, it gives him the power to be able to, to, to push that, that material around the corner. Pioneering. Um, you know, doing any land clearing, grubbing out trees, all that kind of work can be done very, very effectively, quickly with differential steering. Uh, pipeline, sweeping trench backfill, you know, that type of work, differential steering uh, provides a, a, an amazing advantage in, in terms of productivity. Our, our traditional D6 with our four-speed lockup clutch powertrain, so 9.3 liter engine, lockup clutch torque converter, four-speed power shift transmission. Um, you know, our traditional transmission, we, we introduced that in uh, 2017. We went from the three-speed to the four-speed, added that extra gear in there between one and two, kind of that one and a half range. So kind of in the sweet spot for power and productivity and efficiency while you're doing um, that type of, uh, you know, any type of heavier dozing type work. Um, auto shift, auto up and auto down. So a customer and operator can jump in that cab, set it at 2.0, start hitting piles, it'll downshift it, as it needs to, upshift when it gets the opportunity to. So nice, smooth, uh, nice, smooth transmission. It has 30 speed ranges, just like a traditional Heistad or even a D6XE. And so it's really, it's really easy for a customer to jump in and, and set that at whatever speed he wants to. The XE does have a bit more performance than the standard power shift, um, and it is our premium transmission. With the electric drive, there's, there's you know, basically just the one motor, right? So that one motor can operate at varying different speeds with varying amounts of power coming into that motor. The, the cool thing about electric is, is it, you know, as, as we, we always, you know, I always like to read things about, you know, automotive and some of the other folks that are, that are, you know, really deep into this. So the Teslas and the, you know, and the other. So electric, electric gives you maximum torque at zero, at zero speed, right? So you can get maximum torque throughout that whole drive range of that of that motor, that whole RPM range of that motor. So what that results in is when you hit a pile with this tractor, it doesn't tend to bog down. It doesn't slow down as much. It doesn't have to downshift and, and grab another gear to get a better torque level. It has the torque already there in that transmission, in that electric drive motor. So yeah, it's going to slow down a little bit, but when it does that, it's going to it's going to more quickly recover that torque and be able to carry through that. Yeah. The, the other thing that's interesting about this, uh, this transmission to the XE is that when, um, when you first fire the tractor up and you, you crank the throttle all the way up and you start pushing lighter loads, the engine is at 1400 RPM. And so it wants to be at 1400 until it has to go up to 1600, which is its max, right? So we don't lug down into a load, we lug up into a load. So think about it being in eco mode all the time. And then when you hit a heavy load, now it's gonna lug up into that, that higher area. So we're gonna spend most of our time at a lower fuel consumption level, and therefore obviously have better engine life, lower fuel consumption, until we need to. Then when, they, you know, when you get that load on enough that it needs to kick up, then it'll go ahead and kick up to 1600.